Oh, this is incredible. These are uh, software languages, yep. programming languages. Starting with, with Fortran, but it shows, I guess all the lines are showing the commonality to some extent. I, I know Fortran, uh, I've learned a lot of these, <laughs> a lot of these languages. This line here from Pascal to Ada, I know both of those. Ada is the language we use to develop that large command and control system in Cheyenne Mountain. Wow. You know what's interesting when you look at this diagram? It superficially appears to be an evolutionary tree. But in fact, what this represents is an enormous, incalculable amount of creative activity by human intelligence. Each of these languages required at least one author, often more than one, yeah. right? And all along this pattern, you see human creativity bringing these things into existence. That's exactly right. In fact, the, if you look at this and you think in terms of evolution, yeah. you might think that Pascal, for example, um, kind of evolved into Ada. Well, I, I don't deny <laughs> that there are some similarities some there, but I can tell you, yeah. there was a whole team of people that were working on the development of Ada. Right. It wasn't a matter of taking Pascal and somehow squeezing it and putting it under pressure and popped out Ada. There was a, there was a lot, lot of work that yeah. went into that.